Hey, we're back doing Shakespeare and it's almost midnight, so I'm glad I'm getting this one in right before it ends. But this is a short one because if you remember, yesterday, Coriolanus had gone back into Rome and he was going to try to plead his case and be nice to everybody and that failed miserably the second that they called him a traitor and he went off on them and they're like, you are banished. So um, there's a few lines, Matthew's making weird faces at me, there's a few <laughs> lines in between um, this and that but basically it boils down to, is he really banished? Yes, he's really banished. Really? He's banished? Yes, he's banished. To which Coriolanus says, you come and cry of curs whose breath I hate as reek of the rotten fens, whose loves I prize as the dead carcasses of unburned men that do corrupt my air, I banish you. And here remain with your uncertainty. Let every feeble rumor shake your hearts. Your enemies, with nodding of their plumes, fan you unto, into despair. Have the power still to banish your defenders, till at length your ignorance which finds not till it feels, making but reservation of yourselves. Still, your own foes deliver you as most abated captives to some nation that won you without blows, despising you for the city. Thus, I turn my back. There is a world elsewhere. Which then also makes me think of the Dark Tower. There are other worlds than these. And we'll see how Coriolanus fares in his you can't fire me, I quit speech is he forced to leave or do they does he get to stay and he makes all of them leave which do you think is more likely i'll see you tomorrow we'll find out Mwah.